Hey what's up fam, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I created a punk blossom look. I absolutely love this makeup look. It is based off of a fan art drawing that I thought was super cute and easy to copy. Now I know it's a little bit different but whatever we're going to go ahead and dump into it. Anyway, first our top supporters we have Polish and Pages, we have Mikaelia S, sorry I don't know how to pronounce the last name, and for our newest subscriber we have Dorothy James. Thank you guys for your com Continued support. I absolutely love you guys for it. If you guys want a chance to be on my top supporters list, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. You drop a like and you drop a comment down below. Remember, these are chosen at random, so good luck. Okay, let's jump into this punk look. Again, I know this is going to be a little bit different, but my hair is already pink, so let's seize the moment. Starting out with the Morphe Bronze Bay palette, we're going for that skin tone color. This is Hang 10 for me. And this is going to be my transitional base, so I'm only applying this to like the brow bone area, kind of blending it downward a little bit just so I have something to blend into, but yes. Switching to one of my newer palettes, this is the Dulce palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going for that bubblegum pink right there in the top corner, super cute. And this is going to be another transitional color, we're going to be fading this into that brown because they're very similar in like intensity. So I'm really going to be packing on that pink and blending it with that brown so I have a nice smooth transition. Okay, jumping to the new color from the same palette, we're going for that purple right there smack down in the middle. And this is going to be another color that we're using to blend in with that pink. Here I'm really focused on deepening that cut crease, deepening that pink. I don't want that purple to show up too much, I kind of just want it to make a deeper pink. So I am doing a lot of blending, a lot of packing, but more so a lot of blending. Switching to one of our old time favorites, we're going to the Aurora Lights palette by BH Cosmetics. And this time we're going for that deep pink second to last in the bottom corner. And I'm doing this because I felt like that crease was a little bit too purple and I wanted it to be a little bit more pink, kind of towards my hair color. So I'm going in that color to really just, you know, try to change that purplish pink to more of a hot pink.
Now I do want my corners to be a little bit darker so I am going in with that same palette. I am going for that purple this time. And that's because I want the edges, the corners to be uh, darker than everything else um, versus that cut crease. So that's why I'm using the purple for the corners and I'm keeping it purple. So lastly for this base before I go in and cut my crease I'm going with the take me back to Brazil palette and we're going for that black now I am using a very 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 light hand and a very very soft brush because I don't want to oversaturate the look with too much black so I'm being very very careful and strategic on where I place that black and how I blend it in. we are using our NYX HD uh, photo concealer and this is like a very thick white because I ran out of my other one so I'm using this one and this one is kind of like it's a little bit more brown to me so I don't really like this one as a cut crease color I like it as like a primer but not a cut crease but anyways moving on we're going with the Aurora Lights palette again and this time we're going for that very soft shimmer silver now it doesn't show up that pigmented which I kind of don't like so it takes a lot of layers to try to you know at least change the color of the cut crease a little bit and i'm really trying to focus on blending out the edge of that cut crease because i feel like it's a very abrupt stop so i'm just trying to feather it a little bit and give it a you know like a shimmer silverish tint This is 100% punk like glamour look so I'm going in with the silver loose glitter and this is basically just going to cover up that entire cut crease area. Um, I'm putting it over where I had that silver shimmer and this is going to like stand out a little bit more. Now it's too much light in my room so you can't really see it but trust me when I say this glitter is popping y'all. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to do our eyeliner wings. I won't show you because everyone knows how to do that. So we're just gonna fast forward to the lashes. Now the lashes that I'm using are my Lush Legacy brand Brandy. And these are super full. These are 3D minks and they come with a thick band and they're just amazing. So now moving on, to make this look more punk, I need to add a lot more black. So I'm going in with a standard black pencil liner and I'm really gonna lay it on very, very thick. And then I'm going to go in and smudge it out, blend it out a little bit better. Um, that way it takes up more surface area on my eye and it's very heavy. We want very heavy black eyeliner for this look.
So here I'm trying something new. I am taking my Fit Me blush number 55 and I'm actually going to be like applying this to like my nose area like the bridge. I don't know between the eyes. I don't know like I, I, I see a lot of um like fan art or at least anime characters with this kind of like I don't know pigment here. So I'm going to go ahead and try it and see how that looks. Wish me luck. Now for some aesthetic touches, I'm just going in with that uh, black liquid liner and I'm going to go ahead and draw two hearts on my upper cheekbone areas and I'm going to fill them in with black because I feel like that's a nice touch. Now that I filled in those two black hearts, I don't feel like the color on my nose is like deep enough. So I went ahead and just added some more just to like really make it stand out. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our highlight. This is our Kiss Professionals, uh, the Rose Shimmer. And like always, we're gonna add a little bit to our brow bone area a little bit to our nose and for the tear ducts this time we're actually going to go ahead and go with that loose silver glitter just like we did for that cut crease Now what's really going to make this look look more punk is the fact that I will be having uh, a lot of heavy black so I'm going to go ahead and add my lips now. This is a like basic black lipstick that I have. I really should get a new one because as you can see this thing is raggedy but we're going to go ahead and outline our lips in black. Now this lipstick does go on kind of glossy. It does have a shine to it so I will be using my Wet n Wild mattifying powder just to like soak up some of that shininess. This is the finished look. This is my punk version of Blossom. She's like, you know, 16, full of teen angst, full of rebellion, and you know, yeah. So go ahead, let me know what you guys think about this look in the comments below. Do you like it? Would you wear it? Do you want to see this as a series? Because I'm thinking about doing, um, sorry, Bubbles and Buttercup as well, because I feel like it'll be really cute. Let me know, drop a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.